I wanted to show off uh, some of the presets that I'm using on my HD 500, uh, specifically in a live application. Uh, I've been using it more and more just kind of as a standalone unit when I go play at church or uh, wherever. And it's been working really, really well. And I just kind of wanted to share my presets um, and kind of how I approach it uh, using the HD 500. Uh, first things to say is I usually use it in preset mode. So that means that the bottom four, A, B, C, and D, are my four basic presets. And then the top four buttons, FS1, 2, and 3, and 4, are my uh, individual effects within those presets. Um, and then I have the bank scrolling, uh, but I actually don't use that a ton. So uh, basically the way that I set it up is A, B, and C are uh, different amps. So um, A is a basement, B is a Dr. Z, and C is the new uh, G, uh, Bright Channel British uh, 1959. Uh, I actually don't even know exactly what the model name is, but it's a, basically a Marshall. Uh, and then D I have set up with, a, I think it's an AC30 or maybe a Deluxe, but I have a lot of effects kind of as a swell patch uh, if I'm ever doing any like ambient sort of thing. So, uh, and I usually stick within those four presets when I'm playing live. Uh, and then I use the different, uh, you know, effects within each one. And, you know, I kind of start off, a is a little bit cleaner, B is kind of a really light gain, and then C is kind of a, you know, martial classic rock tone. But, you know, they all kind of live in the same ballpark, and really, I kind of look at them as, you know, using different overdrive pedals in an amp. Uh, you're kind of going through different flavors or different textures. Um, you know, some days, in some rooms, certain amps or pedals sound better than others. Um, you know, so it's nice having the different textures. You know, if I want something with a lot of, you know, lower mids, I'll do the basement, uh, whereas if I want something that cuts a little bit better, I'll do the Dr. Z. You know, it all just kind of is a feel thing, because they really all are kind of set up similarly, and I can cover all the same bases with each one, but let's go ahead and run through some sounds. Uh, I'm going to start with the basement here. So that kind of covers it for the basement. It's, uh, you know, it's a, got a little bit of break up to it, but it cleans up really nicely with the volume knob. I've got a couple of uh, nice delay patches in there. I've got a boost. 
uh, which actually I use a compressor as a boost, usually the tube comp, and then I also have an overdrive pedal. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the Dr. Z now. Z. It's uh, probably a little bit dirtier than the basement, uh, but I actually have the same uh, effects. So I've got a boost, an overdrive, uh, some guided eighth digital delay, and then an analog delay. Um, that's kind of my basic setup, how I run with both of those two patches. Uh, just the Dr. Z has a little bit of a different flavor, maybe a little bit more gain. Uh, and the Dr. Z is probably the one I use the most. It's, uh, it's a really great amp. You know, it sounds really good clean. <laughs> So it drives really well with the overdrive. Clean it right up. So I really like that patch. Um, and then the last one is the Marshall. Uh, and this one I actually have been using quite a bit recently. It's a, a newer amp model. It just came out in a newer firmware. Uh, but I think it sounds really, really good. Um, it's a little bit more gain, but it still sounds killer. Thank 
that Hendrix thing really well. So that's the Marshall Patch. I really like that one. Uh, I've been using it a little bit more late recently. It's uh, It's got a little bit more gain, a little bit more bottom into it. Um, but I think it sounds really good, really responsive. Um, sounds great, especially with the strap. Uh, and then the last one is my Swell Patch. And this one just gets pretty crazy. Um,
that's kind of a fun one to mess around with. Uh, it's really handy just to have it all in one box because usually, I mean, I'm running like three different reverbs, a delay, a phaser. I mean, it's it's really action packed, and trying to get those type of sounds with a analog board can be a big headache. So uh, I absolutely love just being able to do it right there in one board. Um, and actually, on uh, FS3. I have two reverbs assigned to that, and one is off, one is on. One is like a big cave reverb, that is what you heard first, and the second one is actually that, uh, actually it's like the octoverb, I think, which it kind of does that shimmering high-end octave effect, uh, which I really, really like. It cuts through, it just sounds really cool. Um, so pretty much those are the different patches. Uh, you know, depending, like I said before, depending on the sound of the room uh, or kind of the feel of the set, if it's a little bit more rock and roll, maybe I'll use the Marshall. If it's a little bit more uh, clean and gritty, maybe I'll use the Bassman. If I'm having a hard time cutting or just want something versatile all around, I use the Dr. Z. Um, then I've got the Swell Patch for any it's sort of, you know, that ambient stuff that I play at church a lot. Uh, it's a really powerful setup. I cover a lot of ground. Um, you know, if, if I wanted to, I, I would set up another patch, maybe with a bunch of modulation stuff, but I really don't use that a ton. Uh, I like to keep it nice and simple, but that's pretty much how I set things up. Um, the only, I keep it in, uh, you know, patch mode, so I've got, the, I don't use, full, I don't, do not use the uh, uh, pedal board mode. Also, uh, in the settings, make sure that your inputs are set, so you have a guitar in one and then like an auxiliary in the other, because uh, otherwise it'll double the input gain. Um, just if you hold down the save button, or I'm sorry, the view button, and then scroll around, you can you can assign the inputs. Uh, but other than that, uh, just mess around with these patches. I'll post a link in the description to download each of these patches yourself. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you soon.